What is up guys, welcome back to another video on the Luke Gregory channel and today we do have another charity shop haul for you. Again, like last episode, it's mostly Doctor Who stuff but I do actually have a couple of things that aren't Doctor Who stuff. Um, so yeah, again, I've just been around all the charity shops and just bought Doctor Who stuff really and been going a bit mad on books so uh, let's start them off and the first thing I did get is the pirate loop this cost me a pound um, it's again one of those kind of hardback ones um, to go in my collection smash that like button if you want me to do a book collection video but yeah usually 6 99 but I got this for a pound in the heart foundation as well as wishing well and wet world and sick building like the cover art on that. So yeah, those all were a pound. Pretty decent. Also from the uh, kind of same place, I guess you could say. Torchwood, um, Trace Memory book. Really nice cover art there. Um, I've never actually seen any Torchwood books, so this was pretty awesome. There's obviously a collection, as you can see. They usually do a collection. There's the spine. But uh, yeah, I've never really seen any Torchwood books, so this was a pretty nice find for me. Um, wasn't expecting it really. Next thing I did get was some Doc 2 annuals. I got two, and um, the first one is this 2006 annual. Um, Christopher Eccleston on it, obviously. And on this one, the 2007 annual with this kind of lenticular David Tennant Eccleston front cover thing. Those both were 50p each. Next thing I um, did get was this awesome book, um, The Doctor's Who's Who. Um, so I don't think this is BBC licensed um, at all, but it's kind of got um, stuff about um, stories about all the faces of the Time Lords, um, so the actors and things. There's also a couple of pages in here. There you go. And that coloured. So a pretty awesome book. Need to get reading it. Um, but yeah, goes through the classics as well. Next thing I did get was not a book actually, and um, non Doc Two related. It's this awesome, like kind of production thing. Um, don't know what to call it really. Um, but you can uh, write on chalk like the date, the scene, the take, and the role, and the director. And you also have the action kind of snap thing. So I thought that was pretty cool, looked pretty cool in my room, plus I can draw on it and have it in backgrounds of my videos sometimes. So I believe that was £3. Also what was £3 but wasn't really a charity shop buy was this um, Wit Wisdom and Timey Wimey stuff, the quotable Doctor Who book by uh, Kevin Scott and Mark Wright. Yeah, it's just basically got quotes and episodes in. And uh, it was £3 in Double Eight Smiths, wasn't really a charity shop haul but... It was on offer, so I thought I'd just show you in this um, uh, charity shop episode. Also, did get another novel, but this time a paperback. It's uh, Doctor Who Forever Autumn by Mark Morris. Um, quite like the Halloween-y kind of cover on that. And then we did get this for £3. The same shop I got the, um, the production whatever thingy. Um, the action thing. Um, it's a whole kind of plastic tub box kind of thing with battle in time trading cards um so i i think i have the whole collection of these but i thought why not you're not gonna find these really much anymore and um yeah there's just some of the cards they're quite old um there are shinies included in this um do i have a shiny on hand there you go side man attack holographic shiny that was only three pounds so i thought why not let's get it and finally, kind of the last book I got was the Doctor Who Paradox Lost. Um, it's a hardback. Uh, I believe this was a pound as well. Pretty decent buy. Um, very happy to find this and, uh, yeah, to um, add to my Matt Smith collection. And the final thing, and maybe the rarest thing that I did find, was this Doctor Who holiday special kind of comic. Um, it was produced in 19... 74, so around about the time the third Doctor was um, 
train the doctor, I guess. Um, John Pertwee costs thirteen p, and it's got like stories and quizzes and stuff inside. The front cover, unfortunately, has been has come off. Um, it's got like a Tom and Jerry comic on the back, but really, all it is is a black and white comic of the Third Doctor, which I think is awesome. It's really old, so this is one of the rarest things I think I have in my collection. And it was only thirty. Uh, it was only fifty p, guys. That's amazing. Or was it 20? It was 20 or 50. Um, either way, that's really good. And as you can see, there's a story about the Daleks and even colour pages. Uh, this looks to be like a kind of board game. And yeah, it just looks really cool, really old. Some posters even. Um, so it, it really is awesome. Some puzzles as well. But overall, I'm so happy to find this. I believe it was 20p in the end. Literally paid the retail price for it. And yeah, it's really old and really awesome. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm not even going to try and get everything into frame this time because it won't fit. And guys, thank you so much for watching. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.